two each, and uh, Roland had five. Utah State will start their same five second half as they started in the first half. Utah Valley will also counter with their starting five. You know, one other point, Jim, talking about points in the pain and an inside presence. Uh, UVU in the first half only had eight points in the paint, and it strains your shooting because you know that you're not going to keep, keep up that hot shooting that they had at the first part. So it got to look to get that ball inside. Maybe they look to post up, you know, Nick Thompson a little bit more. But I think don't be shocked to see them go to Ben early in the second half. If you joined us late, missed the pregame show, we mentioned neither one of these teams has lost on Saturday this season. Utah State undefeated on the road. Utah Valley undefeated at home. All, that, all those things are going to change here in the next 20 minutes of basketball or so. Davis opens the second half with a miss. Utah State tracks down the rebound, though. Once again, there was that guard having to go down and double, forcing the kick out, and not able to get out on the rotation in time. Butterfield inside. So going back to the first half, it's a 12-0 run. UVU has been known to give up huge runs this season. Whistle well before the basket. That one's going to go inside against Ben Ayer, away from the play. Unfortunate call there for the Wolverines because Nick Thompson had a wide open lane to the basket and no Aggie defender in sight, but gets taken away with the foul call. Excuse me, foul against Reed of Utah State. His second. Minute gone, J.J. drives in. That stops that 12 nothing run. Yeah, very nice play there. Not, not forcing anything, not trying to go too hard to the basket, get any type of an offensive foul pulled up early from the defender. Has a great early basket. Taylor Brown steps in front of a pass. UVU comes up with a Utah State turnover. Both teams now with five turnovers each. Nick Thompson shot blocked. Two Aggies on the floor. One of them going to be called for the foul. And you see the skill there from Nick Thompson. We'll see a replay. See the end there where Jared Shaw comes over and blocks the, blocks the shot, but a foul called before that. But you see Nick Thompson's ball handling, his skill in the open court relieves a lot of pressure from Holton when you can have a big player, you know, in this case the four-man for UVU, being able to bring the ball up. And clearly the Aggies not set defensively ready to defend that. That foul was against Keyshawn Reed, his third, so he'll take a seat. Replaced by Ben Clifford. Reed, the leading scorer in the game for Utah State with eight points on the bench now with three fouls. And this is a great start for UVU. You know, they got that bucket early from Jason Johnson. Got to the free throw line there with Nick Thompson. It's been a positive start for UVU. Medlin for three. Ben Ayer tracks down the rebound for UVU. Well, after even after a 12-0 run for Utah State, Utah Valley really just down by three. Yeah, and their, their defense has been key for them because it has kept them, you know, kept them in the game during that run from the Aggies. Unsaker. Oh. Oh. Little floater inside. Bodies crash into the floor. No call. These, these officials are letting these two teams play. Had eight fouls called in that first half. And as soon as I say that, guess what? Holton Hunsaker going to be called for the reach in. Coach Hunsaker better be careful here. Dwayne Allen, referee, looking like he's uh, going to get ready to tee him up. Thirty-eight, thirty-five, Utah State by three. Coach Dick Hunsaker still in conversations with officials about that last call. Well, hopefully that's not a sign of things to come where they'll start calling a whistle on every play. Yeah, well, it's quite a reversal as we talked about from the first half when there were 
Well, there weren't very many foul calls, eight total in the first half, and we've already got three here in the second half. Definitely starting to call it a little bit tighter. Maybe that's showing that the game has gotten a little bit more physical. 38-35, Utah Valley down by three. Utah Valley led by six in that first half. Utah State has led by as many as six as well. Last time was here in the second half. As they finished off that 12 nothing run. Johnson, Hunsaker, Thompson, Brown, and Ayer on the floor for the Wolverines. Alfonso Hubbard, game high 14 points on the bench right now. I'm sure we'll see Fonz before too long. Shaw gets the inbounds. Oh, my goodness. Well, yeah. Now we are going to see a whistle on every play, evidently. Second team foul will be called this time against Jason Johnson of UBU. A lot of the fouls that the Wolverines are getting right now is coming off screens. That last one on Jason Johnson was trying to chase Preston Medlin off of the screen. Need to pressure coming off the screen, but they're being a little too aggressive. Medlin looking inside. They get it inside to Shaw. Works against Ben. He'll take a long jump. That's good. Shaw's got eight points. Well, we've seen him hit from a lot of different places on the floor. He's obviously got some layups. He had that jump hook shot in the first half, and there steps out a little bit further for the jumper. It makes it tough for Ben. Obviously has to guard a lot of different, a lot of different offensive positions that Jared may be in. Jason Johnson drives in, gets the finger roll to go. Yeah, great. He's come out. He's been the, the, the player for the Wolverines here in the second half. Got a couple easy baskets, nice layups, giving the Wolverines a little more momentum. Jason Johnson now with 10 points. Jared Shaw, jump hook, shooters roll, 42-37. About three and a half minutes deep here in our second half. Antoine Hosley running point guard for the Wolverines as Holton Hunsaker on the bench right now. Nick Thompson cut off. Ben Ayer takes the three. Rebound comes down to Utah State's Daniel Rowland. I wouldn't, they're going to go back into Jared Shaw. He's come out with a couple easy baskets. Wouldn't be surprised to see try and get him isolated on one side, get him a post up here. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Jason Johnson goes for the steal. Six seconds on the shot clock for Utah State to work with coming in here. That brings us to our first media timeout of the second half. Wolverines down by five. <laughs> Stu Morrill's Aggies right now with a five-point lead over UBU. Stu Morrill is 15th season at Utah State. 350 wins, pretty impressive. Coach of the year frequently. Wow, quite a resume for Stu Morrill up in Logan. Six seconds on the shot clock here, Jim. Best defensive possessions for the Wolverines. Let's see if they can finish this off. Hitting the ground hard, rolling jumper by Clifford. They did beat the shot clock, but Wolverines come away with a rebound on the miss. There's Spawns back into the game for Utah Valley as is Hunsaker, starting five right now on the floor for the Wolverines. 15 and a half minutes to play here at the UCCU Center. Utah Valley down by five to Utah State. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Hunsaker will take it in the trees, draw the foul. This will be the third team foul. Personal foul is going to be called against Daniel Rowland, his second. Really good play there from Holton. Obviously, the shot clock running down. Play was designed a little bit earlier to get Ben Aired the ball inside. He 
wasn't able to, to get open. But uh, that ball rotated out to Holton. And once again, making something out of nothing, it seems, and getting to the free throw line. Holton Hensager's first trip to the charity stripe tonight. Strict music on the first one. Pulls the Wolverines to within four. Holton Hensager, one of the best free throw shooters in the nation the last two years. In fact, for a time last year, or last season rather, he was uh, number one in the nation. And missed, I think, two out, two out of his last 20 free throws and finished uh, top 10. Yeah, he's incredible when he gets to the free throw line. You can tell it's just from all the free throws that he's shot, just pure repetition. He just gets up there and knows what to do. Three point game. Coming up on 15 minutes left. Utah State, Medlin. Baseline drive, dish off to the big man, Lopez. Wow. I think they're glad to have him eligible. JJ drives in, too hard off the glass. Lopez with a rebound. Lopez again. Oh my goodness. Wolverines cut it to three and all of a sudden back to back baskets by Matt Lopez. Transfer out of LaSalle. This is the first time anybody from Utah State's had a chance to watch him play. Hensager misses the three, whistle inside on the rebound. Looks like it's going to go against the Wolverines. Ben Air this time for sure. Yeah, long three point shot there. Ben Air tried to crash the glass, get position, but he was uh, blocked out there from Matt Lopez. Gets called for the push off. Wolverines, they've got a, you know, struggling offensively. Uh, this, this end of the court, their defense is going to be critical for them here. They need to put together a couple of stops, get the Aggies out of their rhythm. Butterfield. A little 6 nothing spurt now after Wolverines had drawn to within three. Aggies back out in front now by nine. 14 minutes left here at the UCCU Center. Wolverines just two of six shooting here in the second half. Whistle inside, Ben Aird and Lopez. Two big bodies just banging at it. That time Lopez getting called for the foul. Big time battle going on inside and a nice job Ben there ducking in, getting on top of Matt Lopez in the paint. And Ben's gonna have to do a little bit more of that and we see him right there but taken away but from Marcel Davis. Davis dishes off, gets it back for the layup. It's an eight nothing run. My goodness. Utah State all fired up. They come out here, 70% shooting in the second half. They put up 10 shots and made seven of them. Just playing catch on the fast break. And that's how you run a two on one break right there. You give it up early, you get it back very quick. And Holton Hunsaker, no shot there through no fault of his own, a turnover on the other end. So a oh, tough spot for the Wolverines, down 11. We've got to get a couple easy baskets here. Try and get some defensive stops, but you know, who, who's it going to be for the Wolverines? We've seen in the past it's Holden Hunsaker. We've seen that it's been aired, but the uh, Wolverines are going to have to have some help offensively. A reminder, our next broadcast here on UVU TV comes your way Wednesday night here from the UCCU centers. The Trojans of Troy will be in the house at 7 o'clock. Thirteen and a half minutes to play here. Wolverines now down by 11. Biggest lead of the game for Utah State. Nick Thompson. Working against Clifford. Can't get it to go. Travel. Seventh turnover for UVU. Yeah, we see the defense of the Aggies really setting in. Wolverines being forced out, pushed out to the perimeter. Having a tough time getting anything inside, getting any type of penetration. Really just going through a tough, tough stretch here offensively. Medlin goes up top to Reed. Jumper way outside won't go. UVU with the rebound. Nick Thompson's got it. Big man can dribble. He'll bring it up over to Hubbard. Three pointer won't go. And Utah State touched it last. Wolverine basketball. 
covered 14 points all in the first half. Fresh 35 shot clock to work with for the Wolverines. Look at Hubbard just working to get something. Nick Thompson open. Long three, got it. Yeah, big shot there from Nick Thompson. As you said, Alfonso ran almost like an isolation play out of the timeout there. Didn't have anything. Nick Thompson spotted up in a late rotation from Matt Lopez. That was a big basket for UVU. UVU pulls to within eight. Wolverines trailed at halftime by four. Lopez working against Nick Thompson this time. Double team. Hunsaker out. Eight second shot clock. Davis. Easy layup. Ten point lead for the Aggies. A great defense there from UVU up until that last drive. That's the type of intensity that they have to have. Nick Thompson drives in. Shot won't go. Marcel Davis trying to draw the charge, but Davis instead will be called for the block. So Nick Thompson will be at the free throw line when we get back from this break. Ten point game, Utah State out in front of Utah Valley. See the last drive here from Nick Thompson, a really nice foot fake out on the perimeter, able to get the defender off balance. Created a lane to the basket for himself and goes up strong. Marcel Davis called for the for the block. I think he's going to be a catalyst here for UVU. He hit that long three point shot a moment ago. Nick Thompson. Yeah, 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 exactly. He's he's got that skill where you give him a little bit of space, he can create an opportunity, and uh, you see it there with a great drive to the basket. First foul against Davis. Davis Lopez both with one. Butterfield's out there with two. Reads on the floor again for Utah State with three fouls. Utah Valley, Johnson, and Thompson with two each. Hunsaker's got one. Hubbard and Brown out there with no foul. So not a lot of foul trouble for either team yet. Reed, the only player for either team with three or more. And I, I want to mention something too, Jim. I mentioned at halftime I didn't think the Aggies were going to be able to keep up their 60% shooting in the first <laughs> half, and I stand corrected because in the second half, they're shooting 67%. All right, well, I mean, they, did, they didn't keep it up. They didn't. They did a lot better. They got, yeah. They did a lot better. It's incredible how how well they have shot. Still struggling from the three-point line. UVU uh, on the other side of that in the second half, 37%, uh, giving them about 42% in the game where the Aggies have 62%. Uh, incredible shooting. Nick Thompson scored the last five points for the Wolverines. Eight point lead for the Aggies though. 11 and a half to play. Evan won't go, Aggies control on the rebound. Well, UVU with a little bit smaller lineup. Ben Air not in the game. Uh, Nick Thompson, the tallest player. You gotta have a lot of rebounding help from the other players. Charge gonna be called on Preston Medlin of Utah State. Holton Hunsaker, a master at drawing charges. And it's all about awareness, and that's what makes Holton so great about it. Is he's always in a great defensive spot, makes it easy to rotate over, and that came, in that case came over and helped and took the charge. Medlin's first foul, but more importantly, sixth team foul against Utah yeah. State, still with 11 minutes to play. Yeah, and, and Wolverines can play on that. They can keep being aggressive, don't force anything, but if they have something, use it to their advantage. Jason Johnson feeds oh. Hubbard inside. And Keyshawn Reed going to be called for perhaps foul number four. Yep, foul against Reed. A nice job there from Jason Johnson probing the defense. He got the ball in the short corner, kind of worked his way in, saw that he had an advantage over Preston Medlin, and Reed had to come over and help. A really nice dish off. Nice job of Alfonso going up strong and getting to the line. And as you just mentioned, every foul down the stretch now for the Aggies, or on the Aggies, I should say, will put UVU at the free throw line. Alfonso Hubbard now 15 points to lead all scores in this game. Not to mention the fact that Keyshawn Reed is now out with four fouls. And he Plays a big part for their team, averaging 11 points on the year, 11 points per game on the year. So an offensive threat taken out with fouls. It remains 
Just under 11 minutes left here. We're at the UCCU Center in Orem, Utah, on the campus of Utah Valley University. Members of the Great West Conference currently set to join the WAC next season. Jumper outside for three is no good. Fonz blocks the putback from Clifford. UVU's got it. Jason Johnson lost his footing, slides down, calls the timeout. J.J. mad at himself for slipping down. Heads up play, though, to call the timeout. Yeah, really heads up play. It all started with the block on the defensive end from behind by Alfonso Hubbard. And then the Wolverines were out and running. I love when they get that tempo, when they're able to get turnovers and they get out and running. And as you said, nice job, Jason Johnson, staying aggressive, as he has been. Here's the upcoming lineup for UVU TV games. Troy, as we've mentioned a couple times, will be in the house on Wednesday, 7 o'clock tip next week. Then a week from tonight, North Carolina Central, a rematch. Wolverines went there earlier this season, and that's where Holton Hunsaker picked up a few stitches. So they'll be in the house next Saturday. And then Great West Conference opponents after that, NJIT, Houston Baptist, Pan Am, Chicago State, and then future WAC member Cal State Bakersfield rounds out the home slate on March 9th. All those games will be broadcast here on UVU TV. Right now, Wolverines trying to climb back in this with Nick Thompson inside. Travel. Ten minutes, 20 seconds left to play here. Well, for all the good things we talked about, Jim, that the Aggies have been doing, they're only up seven points. Wolverines have come away with a couple good defensive possessions the last time down. Let's see if they can keep that momentum going. Clifford. Goes over to Medley. 15 seconds, shot clock. Davis drives in, lost the handle momentarily. Clifford fighting for the rebound, and they'll call a foul against UVU inside. Now, UVU's being hurt defensively with some of these backside or weak side rebounds. Shots are going up, and Wolverines are having a hard time blocking out on that weak side. Uh, another instance there when Ben Clifford gets the ball on, an, on, a, on a weak side rebound. Taylor Brown being called for the foul. His first team's fourth of the half. And no surprise seeing Ben Aird coming back into the game to help with that. Obviously the best rebounder that the Wolverines have. And, and it's a total team effort, too. you got to have all your guards rebounding down if you want to come down with the ball. Medlin, turnaround jumper, too hard. Shaw fights for the rebound. Gene with the jumper outside, won't go. That one saved from going out of bounds. Wow, tell me this is not intense. Players diving everywhere for it, and that time Ben Clifford comes up with it in, with enough to call a timeout. He's, yeah. He's pretty happy about yeah, that. Yeah, he was very happy, <laughs> sticking his tongue out and everything. But these offensive rebounds are <laughs> not doing the Wolverines any favors and doing the Aggies a lot of favors because it's giving them these second chance points. You see here, all teams holding Hunsaker, saving the ball. Ben Aird coming in there. Ben Clifford coming in. I think you see Holton there saying he didn't have the ball. And on that replay, it looked like he almost didn't have the ball when he. Well, he had it and he got it he, back. He had it and got so. it back. A great hustle from both teams, as you said. We're, you know, we're, if, if I'm Clifford, I'm sticking my tongue out, too. Yeah. That was a good play. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was definitely excited about that. But with nine and a half minutes left, both teams, both teams playing with a whole lot of intensity. Seven-point lead for the Aggies of Utah State. Last time the Wolverines led, it was 32 to 30. We're under nine and a half to play now. Wolverines jump in front of it, come up with a turnover. Great job there, Nick Thompson. He was screened along the baseline as Ben Clifford was coming along to get the ball, and he just nothing but fought through it to get the rebound. Ben Aird finally scores as a point. Comes with nine minutes and change left in the second half. Just an aggressive duck in right into the middle of the paint, right into the middle of the lane, and you can imagine what that's going to do for him as they're going to need him. Ben Aaron came in here averaging team high 13 points a game. That's his first two. Hunsaker thought he had a clean strip inside. Instead, Holton will be called for the foul. His second. 8.53 to play. Fifth team foul. 
shooting foul, so they'll put Marcel Davis at the free throw line for two. Tough to see. That's so. That's a fast action there. Hands coming down. The ball's going up. Tough to see if there really was, really was any type of a con contact there. Obviously, a foul was called, but we've seen the Wolverines get called for a lot of those fouls, swiping at the ball. It may be more to their advantage to not try that just because they are getting called for a lot of those fouls. Utah State has not missed a free throw in this game. That's the good news for them. The bad news is they've only been there four times. They're 4-4. Four four. Wolverines are 11 of 13. And Aggies with a press here, probably going to fall back into his own defense. Antoine Hosley over to Hunsaker. Inside feed, Ben Ayer. Out to Nick. Kicked away. Turnover, Wolverines. Davis with it. He'll take the long three. Got it. Well, the little 5 nothing spurt for Utah State matches the Wolverines' 5 nothing run that they had just been on before that happened. The team's trading a little 5 nothing runs. Eight, just under eight to go. It's a 10-point lead again. Nick Thompson. Rebound comes down to Jared Shaw. His ninth rebound of the game. Something pretty interesting that I'm seeing here. Marcel Davis coming into this game had only attempted seven three-point shots, and tonight he's attempted four. So I think the Wolverines were planning on him not being much of a three-point threat, and he's come up and hit a couple tonight. And Davis working against Holton Hunsaker inside, and it's going to be yet another foul against Holton Hunsaker. His third. Wolverines are down by ten. Seven and a half minutes to play here at the UCCU Center. Utah State with a 10-point lead. I'll tell you what, the month of December under Coach Stu Morrill, Utah State just dominates their opponents. They play well both at home and on the road. We've seen uh, the month of December is when these two teams usually play, and uh, the Aggies are well coached, well prepared, and as are the Wolverines. 32 points in the paint tonight for Utah State. Their shooting has cooled off, Matt. They're now at 47% uh, here in the second half. And another foul inside. This one's going to go against Ben Aird of UVU. Well, you know, we mentioned it coming out of that uh, halftime break that it was nice to see him just call nine fouls total in that first half. Yep. Now how many have we had in the game? My goodness, uh, 22 fouls total, so already 12 here in the second half. And I think Marcel Davis has done a lot of good things for the Aggies in the, in the game, but more so here in the second half. He's been the primary ball handler, been the one to mostly get them into their offense. And uh, he's done a really nice job of driving and passing. and Just a freshman. The, yeah, when the opportunity presents itself, knocking down the jump shot. Played high school ball at American Fork High School just up the road here. 59-47. It's the biggest lead for Utah State in the game. Hubbard hasn't had many shots in the second half. Gets that one down. That stopped a 7-0 run. Yeah, he's kind of been the go-to guy tonight, Alfonso Hubbard had. He's, he's played a great game. You know, ten, uh, ten point deficit with just under seven minutes left. Inside Butterfield. And it looks like Clifford is injured. Hold it, get hit the bridge of the nose, across the eyes maybe, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think he got poked in the eye. One of the most painful basketball injuries there are. There is. There are. There are several. Looks like, and it was from his own teammate, too. It was from his own teammate hitting him, almost looked like with either the back of his head or maybe he wasn't hit in the eye. Either way, he looks like he's in pain. Uh, 
Bridge in the nose is my guess, but I'm not sure about that. Either way, he's on the bench right now with his team. Out in front by 10. 10 seconds on the shot clock for Utah State. Davis has it. Over to Butterfield to put it up for three. Missed it. Nick Thompson on the run all the way. Big man can move. Six foot ten. Nick Thompson transferred from Oklahoma. Sat out last year for UVU. He's a senior though. Ben Ayer jumps in front of that pass. Wolverines come up with the eighth turnover of Utah State. And they couldn't ask for anything more defensively than what they've got the last two possessions, and they've converted offensively as well. Nick Thompson feeds inside. Ben Ayer. Wolverines 6-0 run right now. This game has been a game of runs. It has. No doubt. I mean, it's gone back and forth. One team 10-0, the next team 8-0, 6-0, 6-0. It's been incredible. Now, these types of runs have done both teams a lot of favors, and right now, momentum is definitely with UVU. Wolverines have scored six straight points in the last minute 23. A great pass here from Nick Thompson. You see a wonderful finish there. Keyshawn Reed got stuck on top, wasn't able to rotate fully over and front Ben Aird from getting that ball. Just a great offensive play. And Nick Thompson Keena with a great pass. Just a six point lead for Utah State now. Five minutes, 39 seconds left in this one. Pretty good crowd on hand for being holiday break. You know, not many students still in town. As you see, UC, UVU's rather, next five games, Troy and Carolina Central next week, and then on the road for the Dr. Pepper Classic Friday and Saturday after Christmas in Chattanooga. They'll take on Austin P in the first round, and then depending on who wins and loses, either Chattanooga or High Point in the second one. Oh, my goodness, Matt Lopez. You think this kid's not got fresh legs? That was a great move, too. He just spun his way around Ben in the post. Let's see what the Wolverines do to respond. They've got to keep up their intensity. They can't get lackadaisical. Just keep moving on offense. Inside, Hubbard. Kicks it out. Hunsaker for three. Bottom! Let's see on defense here. If the ball goes back into Matt Lopez, well, with, you've got Jared Shaw out of the game. If the ball goes into Matt Lopez, let's see if the Wolverines are going to do any type of double team, try and get the ball out of his hands. It's like UBU's doing a lot of switching on the perimeter. They don't want to leave any open shots for the guard players for Utah State. Butterfield drains it. Back to a seven-point lead for the Aggies. 4.20 left. Like QB is going to run a similar play what they did last time as the Aggies are in this 3-2 zone. Hubbard for three. Missed it. Rebound Butterfield for Utah State. Yeah, Utah State's going to work the clock here. With this uh, seven-point lead that they have, look for them to work the clock. Try and take some time off and then... Get the ball into Marcel Davis's hand and maybe a, a screen up top as you see it coming up from Matt Lopez. Davis, the freshman, spins in the lane. And a little reach in foul going to be called on Holton Hunsaker. Basket will count. We showed you Utah Valley's next five games. Here's what the Aggies face. Nickel State, Davis, Southern Illinois, Texas San Antonio, and Texas State. A lot of those are all at home in a little round robin tournament they got going next weekend. Right here though, heck of a game right now. 65-56 after that last bucket was good and the and one. Holton Hunsaker now with four personal fouls for UVU. He'll stay out there. 
Coach Dick Hunsaker needs his point guard running things down the stretch here with 335 left. Davis misses. Hubbard tracks down loose ball rebound for UVU. Every possession critical now for Utah Valley. They've got to get into their offense a little bit quicker than what they're doing. They've used 20 seconds off of the shot clock. Ben Aaron inside, off the glass, good. Uh, here, Jim, I think what's going to be key, once again, we're going to see the Aggies use the, you know, use some clock. This ball's going to go to Marcel Davis' hands, and they're going to get a screen coming up at the top for him, or possibly for Preston Medlin. It's going to be about how the Wolverines can defend that pick on the ball, the last part, last three minutes of the game here. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Reed threw it away. Hunsaker stepped in front of it. To Hubbard. Back out to Hunsaker. He'll launch a three. Won't go. Ben Aird back up. Utah State basketball. Had a great job rebounding a good shot from Holton. Ben got that ball. I think he just rushed it a little bit on the back side there. But plenty of time here for UVU. You're going to get a timeout from Utah State. Stu Morrill with 2.05 left to play. Calls the timeout. Wants to get his troops set up. Coach Dick Hunsaker will take advantage of that timeout. Talk to his players as well about what kind of strategy to employ the last 2.05. Alfonso Hubbard. Leading score tonight for Utah Valley was 17 points, but only three of those in the second half. Utah State shut him down in the second half, to be honest. Meanwhile, it's Marcel Davis who's lighting it up for Utah State. 17 points tonight for the freshman who came in here averaging five points a game. I'm just guessing that Marcel Davis is uh, playing in front of a lot of hometown folks being from American Fort. Sometimes when you play in front of the front of the family, it inspires you. I'm not that might be them there. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's played great. He's come out and had a lot of energy and given the Aggies exactly what they needed. And no fouls here for UVU on the defensive end. Play their best defense, get a shot, and you got to have total team rebounding here. Butterfield. Shaw with the follow. Nine-point lead for Utah State with a minute 45. Wolverines get it across the stripe. Don't seem to be in a big hurry yet. Yeah, they've got to pick up the pace here a little bit. I mean, only down, down nine points. <laughs> Force pass there. Nick Thompson trying to get that ball into Ben Aird. Tough pass trying to get it over Jared Shaw. He's tall and lengthy and has a lot of leaping ability. Utah State whistle well away from the basketball. I think they're going to get a moving screen on Jared Shaw. Shaw's first personal foul. Both teams with eight fouls apiece here in the second half. A minute 18 to play. Utah Valley down by nine points to Utah State. Holton Hunsaker working hard against Preston Medlin. Over to Hosley. One minute left. Wolverines burning a lot of clock. Jared Shaw going to be called for the second, his second personal. And it's going to be a three-point shot, I believe. He's going to get three free throws. That was a critical mistake there from Jared Shaw. Nice job of Holton just sensing where Jared had his hands and going up for the shot. Definitely a foul. Holton Nunsegger, 12 points tonight, two of two from the stripe. Let's not forget, Holden's been out there a long time with four personal fouls. 
Jr. North Salt Lake City, Utah makes the first of three. We're likely going to see full court pressure here from UVU off of the free throw. Likely miss or make, they're going to get up and put that full court pressure on, attempt to steal the basketball. I don't know if they're going to be looking to foul this early on, but clearly they'll get pressure up. Sixty-seven, sixty. Hunsaker misses the back end of the three. Clock rolls. Forty-eight seconds. Wolverines down by seven. And if the ball goes into Kaisin Reed's hands, they might want to foul him. He averages fifty-four points, but Wolverines possibly a steal out here on the perimeter. Wolverines come up with the turnover. They don't have a lot of time to work with. Nick Thompson for three. Tip up, Ben Air, no good. Rebound by Reed. Utah State with 23 seconds to play. Finally, Antoine Hosley knocks the ball or knocks the ball away from Spencer Butterfield, but commits the foul doing so. That'll put Butterfield at the free throw line with 20.7 to play. Wolverines down by seven. Nick Thompson, good luck at that three. Couldn't get it to go. Yeah, great defense there from he had it. Hunsaker out top, and you also had Antoine Hosley. Nice job of getting a steal. They didn't foul. That's exactly what they needed in that instance. Just not able to get the three-point shot to fall. Daniel Rowland misses the free throw. Wolverines with it. Long three, Hunsaker. Hey, it's just a four-point game with 14.3 to play. Holton Hunsaker now 17 points, tying Hubbard for game high points for the Wolverines, but more importantly, they're just down four. Yeah, unbelievable play there, unbelievable turn of events. And you had Coach Morrill coming out and yelling at Spencer Butterfield for gambling in the backcourt, which gave Holt, Holton a, a nice lane, and it's an easy shot. It, it looks difficult. It, so to speak, it's an easy shot when you're able to dribble up, get in your own rhythm, and fall right into a three-point shot. I say it's easy, meaning that yeah. that type of a shot, when you gain your rhythm, when you're able to set your feet, it's it's the easiest shot that there is. And Holton proved that by knocking it down from well beyond the three-point line. 14.3 seconds left to play here at the UCCU Center. Utah Valley was down at halftime by four. They're still down by four, but they have trailed in the second half by as many as 12. Now what they're going to do here, obviously Utah State inbounding the ball. I think they're going to go for the steal as quick as they can, and if they don't have a steal, they're going to immediately foul. Ideally, getting the worst free throw shooter possible, the ball, and sending them to the, uh, to the, to the free throw line. Preston Medlin will have the ball in his hands. Wolverines go for the steal, don't come up with it. Finally, they foul Medlin in the backcourt with nine and a half seconds. Taylor Brown went for the steal, could not come up with it for UVU. Preston Medlin, first trip to the charity stripe tonight. Well, we said it was going to be exciting. That was a loose ball underneath the Wolverines' basket. Alfonso Hubbard had his back turn, unfortunately, didn't see the loose ball. But nice job of Utah State getting that ball, getting it into the hands of one of their better free throw shooters, Preston Medlin. Five-point lead for Utah State, make it six. 69-63 with nine and a half seconds left. And this ball likely going to be in the hands of Holt, Holton Hunsaker, going to be able to create his own shot. Puts up the three, won't go. Utah State with the rebound, and that's going to do it. That's how this one will end here at the UCCU Center. 69 63.
Matt, I'm told, will uh, be joined momentarily by a player from UVU, so we'll need to hand him that extra headset, my friend. Utah State comes away with a six-point victory. They improved to six and one on the season, two and zero oh on the road. Meanwhile, Utah Valley falls to five 